I have for you another clone question based on the year 2004. Okay? Now you're given log 11 base 2 equals to P and log 5 base 2 equals to Q. And you are asked to give this value log 12.1 base 2 in terms of P and Q. Now, when we say in terms of P and Q, P, Q, and if there exist also numbers. Okay? Now, let's see. Now, the secret to answering this type of questions is this. When you are given like this in SPM, you break the number given into 11, 5, and the base, 2. These are the three important numbers. You must break this into. Okay, let's see how we do it. This is equal to log 1 to 1 over 10, base 2. Okay, 1 to 1 over 10. That is 12.1. Okay. And what is 10? 10 is 5 times 2. 5 times 2. Log 1 to 1 over 5 times 2. Get it? Base 2. Right? Okay. This we simplify further. Log 11 squared over 5 times 2. Base 2. Okay, I hope you get it until here. Right. If it is clear, I go further now. Next step. Next step. This is a single log. But we can break it up into three different logs. 11, 5, and 2. Watch. So this is equal to log log 11 square minus bracket because there are two here. So we put a bracket. Minus log 5 plus log 2 base 2 okay got it okay now we bring this forward okay all are base 2 so you have 2 log 11 base 2 minus log 5 base 2 5 base 2 Negative, positive, minus log 2, base 2. Okay, now we substitute P and Q. So watch. This is 2 times log 11, base 2 is P. 2P minus log 5, base 2 is Q. Q minus Log 2 base 2 is 1. Using the law of logarithm. This is your answer. In terms of P and Q. Get it? Thank you. I have for you a clone question 
based on the year 2005. Now, like I said it earlier, many questions concerning logarithm, you usually combine two or three logs into a single log to get the answers. Okay, we are going to apply the technique here. Now watch. Log 3x base 2 minus log x plus 2 base 2 equals to 1. Now we make this into a single log first. So this is log 3x divided by x plus 2 base 2 equals to 1. Okay? Now, we apply this rule. See, log n base a equals to x. Therefore, n is equal to a to the power of x. We apply this law for the next step. Okay? You have got it? This law. We apply this law. Right. So, 3x over x plus 2 equals to 2 to the power of 1. Applying the law earlier. Huh? So now, we take this, move it up here. 3x is equal to 2 times x plus 2. So, what do you get? 3x is equal to 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 2, 4. Plus 2x, bring to this side. Okay? Bring to this side. 3x minus 2x equals to x. And x equals to for this is your answer. See? Just apply the laws of logarithm properly. You should be able to arrive at the answer. Thank you.